What's up YouTube, this is Print Practical. Is the AMS worth the money? Let's find out. The AMS costs 349 USD from Bamboo. Unless you purchase it as part of a combo kit with a printer, then it costs 249 USD. I got the AMS as part of the combo kit with my printer, but I had some other projects to do before I set it up. Now is the time, let's hook it up and run it through some tests. Okay, I got the whole AMS hooked up and updated, so we're ready to load some filament in. What I have is the filament that came with my printer AMS combo. I have some orange PLA basic, some green, and then it also came with some support material for PLA. I also have some red inland PLA that I'm going to throw in here because I had it open. It's got a little bit of spool damage, but we'll see. All right, pretty cool. Once you start pushing the filament in, the AMS just pulls it right through the system. And then the bamboo slicer already knows that you loaded filament into the AMS. For the bamboo filaments, it actually automatically recognized what the filament was and what color it was, which was pretty cool. For the inland filament, I did have to specify a profile, which is generic PLA for it. Anyway, let's test this thing out. It looks pretty cool. You guys all know I love Fred the Frog. Look at that badonk. I think it would be really cool if I print this frog out in red PLA and then I'm thinking I'm going to use the bamboo PLA in green to color the eyes. So if I click on the model, I can hit color painting and here I can select which filament I want and I guess this allows me to select how I want to paint it. This is my first time ever doing this. Very cool, it tells you how much filament you're gonna use of each kind and how much is actually flushed or wasted. So it looks like I'm gonna waste 16 grams of each filament just to have it to be multicolored. I'm not worried about it, this is just a test, so let's send it to the printer and see what comes out. Me. This guy looks incredible. You could not do this without one of these systems. There's no way you could just flip flop filament and get this to happen. So there are some drawbacks to a print this nice. Look at all this waste. It has a purge tower that was on the build plate and it's about as tall as the frog. And then all of this from the poop shoot from that one print. Here I have a basic Chevy keychain that I use on my car key, and I'm gonna try using three different colors for this. 
So first I'm going to use the orange and I'm going to use the fill. And let's do the top layer. And then I'm going to use the green and I want the text to be green. So let's select the faces of the text. I made this keychain back in 2021 for a video. I think it was like the third video on my channel. I will definitely be replacing it with this new one. Purge Tower was pretty interesting for this one. You can see where it's purging the different colors. Let's see what came out the old poop shoot. Not that much waste. This is the last test for the AMS. I have a microwave handle that I designed a few years ago for my microwave. And I printed this on an old, old printer and the supports on the bottom left a very noticeable feel when you're pulling on the handle. So this seems like a perfect use case to use this support material for. So first I need to go over to the support tab and I need to enable the supports. And then at the bottom here, you can see support raft interface. I'm going to switch to the support PLA. You're going to get a warning telling you that it's going to change some settings for the Z distance and that's because this material is not supposed to bond to the normal PLA which allows you to get a really good support structure that's very close to the model and hopefully it shouldn't leave any weird artifacts on the model. We'll see. So I'm going to slice this up now. As you can see, it uses my normal filament for the supports until it gets to the part that's going to touch the model. Then it uses this support material for PLA. And this should take about two hours and 50 minutes. So this is the texture left over after you pull the PLA support off. It feels a little bit rough, but I'm sure a very light sand would make that feel perfect. Due to the support material only being used between the interface of the part and the support, it cut down a lot on filament changes, so very minimal waste here and the part itself turned out great. It's been a few days, I've printed various things on this AMS system and here are my final thoughts. If you want to print sculptures and different art pieces like this in a variety of colors, then you're gonna need an AMS. Just keep in mind, every time you're swapping filament, you're wasting too. Just another thing to note, things like the frog or the keychain that I printed out, they take significantly longer to print because of all of the time that's spent swapping filaments and making the filament tower. I can't say for certain whether the support material for PLA is worth it. I used it on this microwave handle and it left a rough texture on the bottom of it. I've seen similar results just using normal tree supports with a normal Z support distance. So I can't speak to that, but if you need that material, then you have to use an AMS as well. That's gonna be it for this one. I think the AMS is gonna be more of a convenience factor for me when I wanna swap materials in between prints. Also, the ability to use support material is a very nice feature to have. And it might be nice to add some accent colors on very small prints. One thing I didn't realize is just how much filament is wasted when you're doing multicolor prints like this frog. So I think for projects like that, I'd rather just do normal post-processing, sanding, patching, painting, and then you could paint in the colors that you want on that print. Anyway, if you have any comments on this, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.